the gun violence in Opelousa has always been bad. It's just, it's not worth it. You go outside, people die every day. Opelousa's resident in Bourgeois has called the city home his entire life. But after a recent incident, I just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. He's now fearful for his safety. Families are not even safe to go anywhere no more. Like, there's just too much gang violence and families that get caught up in it. Nearly a year later, one family is still waiting for answers. Cousins 21-year-old Shamaija Lede and 19-year-old Alexi Jobert were shot and killed inside of a vehicle late last year. Community activist Eric Williams tells me he's spoken to many families in similar situations. I have had a lot of families call me and reach out to me concerning these matters. And they feel like sometimes they feel like law enforcement knows something and they are not doing their job. Williams, president of the nonprofit called Guns Down Power Up, his initiative is to help families cope with grief and to get guns off the streets. Williams leads prayer groups, community walks, and other activities. So we do this thing with chess, and uh, we have also a book out, The Guns Down Power Up Way of Playing Chess. We try to teach them how to communicate. He wants families to know they are not alone. So we're letting them know we're here, we're reachable, we're touchable, and we're coming to you and offering hugs and showing them emotional support. Williams says it's about helping the community come together. In Opelousas, Paris Flanagan, KTC TV3. Now to a live look of I-10 westbound in Lafayette, Paris, where the westbound lanes are back open.